let's take a look at how to set up your Aries Mini on a home Wi-Fi network. We're going to be using the Network Setup Wizard in Lightning DS. That's the control app for the Aries Mini. Lightning DS is available free from the App Store for your iOS device. So if you haven't done it already, go ahead and install it now. Once you've got Lightning DS installed on your iPhone or iPad, launch the app and we'll get started with that setup wizard. The first time you run Lightning DS, you'll see a few basic setup options. After choosing your language and accepting the end user agreement, you'll arrive at the network setup wizard. Touch the first option, Set up Lightning Device. Since this is the first time we're setting up the Aries Mini, you'll want to select Set up New Device. Select the Aries Mini from the list of products shown, then tap Next. As we see here, there are several output options for connecting the Aries Mini to your audio system. RCA, digital coax, optical toss link, and USB. There are two output modes for the Mini. One is for USB output only, and the other mode covers all the other connection types. You can only use one output mode at a time, but here we'll plug in both RCA and USB so we can check out how to select which mode we'd like to use later. Once you've plugged in the output type that you'll be using to connect to your audio system, tap Next. Now let's give the Aries some power. The power cable that came with your Mini plugs in on the far left as you're looking at the back of the device. Make sure the other end is plugged into a working electrical outlet and tap Next. You'll know the Aries Mini is powering up when its LED indicator turns white, then a solid amber color. That means the device is booting up, and you can tap Yes in the Setup Wizard. Within a few seconds, the LED indicator should start flashing. Flashing amber tells us that the Aries Mini is turning on its Wi-Fi hotspot mode. Hotspot mode creates a temporary network, so the Mini can make a direct connection with your iOS device running the Lightning DS Control app. Once the Aries Mini successfully creates a Wi-Fi hotspot, and you see the flashing amber LED, tap Next for instructions on how to join it. Let's walk through the steps. Press the Home button on your iPhone or iPad to leave the Setup Wizard for a moment. Go to Settings on your device and choose Wi-Fi. You should see a Wi-Fi network there called Auralic Lightning. Select it to join the Wi-Fi hotspot. You may or may not see the Wi-Fi symbol in the top left corner of your iPhone or iPad, but that's okay. As long as you see a check mark by the Auralic Lightning Wi-Fi hotspot, the Aries Mini and Lightning DS will be able to connect to each other. Depending on the system version of your mobile device, you may see a security warning because the temporary Wi-Fi hotspot created by the Aries Mini doesn't require a password. Don't worry about it if you do. The hotspot won't be turned on for long. When you've successfully connected to Auralic Lightning in your Wi-Fi settings, switch back to the Lightning DS app and the Setup Wizard. From the 
Join Wi-Fi Hotspot screen where we left off. Click Next. Lightning DS will now search for Auralic Lightning devices. Select Ares Mini from the list of devices found. If this is your first Auralic product, it'll be the only device on the list. Then tap Next. We're setting up a wireless connection for the Ares Mini, so go ahead and select Wireless in the next step. Now, we're going to tell the Mini which network to use for its normal operation. If you see two versions of your home Wi-Fi network on the list, select whichever one shows the stronger signal. When you select your home network, you'll be prompted to enter the password for it. When you're done, tap Join. You may notice that at this point, the Mini's flashing amber LED turns to flashing white as it turns off its hotspot mode and connects to your Wi-Fi network for normal use. Once that connection is made, the LED shows solid white, but it can take a few seconds. When the light is solid white and the Aries Mini has successfully connected to your home Wi-Fi network, it's time to switch your iPad or iPhone back to your home network as well. Chances are your mobile device has already done this for you. Let's step through those on-screen instructions by pressing the Home button, going to Settings, selecting Wi-Fi, and joining your home network. Head back to the Setup Wizard in Lightning DS one last time and tap Next. The Lightning DS Control app will now search for the Aries Mini over your Wi-Fi network instead of the hotspot it used to connect earlier. This can take a few seconds too. When Lightning DS finds the Aries Mini, our network setup is complete. Tap Next for the last couple of things we need to do. The first is to check for firmware updates so your Mini has the latest set of features and support. Tap Next to perform the check. If there's an update available, Lightning DS will install it automatically. After the update, if there is one, tap Next, and you'll have a chance to give your Aries Mini its own name if you like. There's a list of suggestions to choose from, or create a new one by tapping Other at the bottom of the list. If you do give the Mini a name, you'll see its LED slowly flash white as its settings are updated. The last thing we need to do is to select an output mode to use. If you're connecting the Aries Mini to your audio system using RCA, digital coax, or an optical Toslink connection, select Aries Outputs. Only use the Auralic USB Audio option if you're connecting the Aries Mini to an external USB DAC. For most scenarios, there will only be one option available based on the physical connection type you've chosen. Tap Next when you've made your selection and the Mini's LED will again show a flashing white color as its settings are updated one last time. When the LED turns solid white, you'll see the final screen of the setup wizard, letting you know your device is properly set up. Tap Done, then close on the pop-up telling you that you're done, and that's it. Your Aries Mini and Lightning DS are now ready to use. If you haven't done it yet, check out the Auralic Knowledge Base for information about setting up your digital music library.